Let me get started by saying a couple of things that I do like about Need for Speed Unbound. For example, the walking pedestrians. The map feels way more alive with people walking on the sidewalks. The graphics, they are absolutely great. The game looks overall really lovely. Also, full crossplay support. Not many games have that. Now, let's talk about the complaints. Before we get into the main stuff, let's address some minor issues by the community. The lag and cheering at the launch of the game. Not the end of the world. Same same thing happened at Forge Horizon 5 launch, I remember it clearly. Also, I played Need for Speed Unbound again the next day and it was completely fine. No lag. A lot of complaints about the drifting physics as well. Now guys, we're talking about Need for Speed over here. Please keep in mind, Need for Speed is strictly arcade, as arcade as it can be. Project Unite is probably gonna make Need for Speed Unbound mod that makes the physics better anyways, okay? You just wait. A lot of complaints about the game feeling the same as their previous games. I kinda of agree but i mean you can't expect them to completely build a new game from scratch every release i mean look at forza horizon series copy paste different map the tiny car list actually i didn't even think about that now that it was mentioned yeah the car list was really small they will 100 percent add more new cars into the game relax people are also complaining about the uh, game price all i have to say is everything is getting more expensive nowadays if you haven't noticed it's a little expensive i guess you can wait for a sale to get it cheaper game having issues with controllers i tried my playstation 4 controller as well at first and it went nuts in need for speed unbound so i decided to just use my steering wheel but unfortunately no force feedback or anything right <laughs> again this is not a big issue probably a different controller is gonna work fine i don't know anyway now we're gonna talk about the bigger issues and also what i experienced in need for speed unbound as well so here's 10 things that i hate in need for speed unbound number one lying about the effects we were officially promised that we can remove all of the cartoon effects before we start the gameplay that was a lie we can only partially disable some of the cartoon effects on our cars but even if you take these few effects off from your car you still see all of the effects on other people's cars online and all the uh, ai cars as well so this only partially takes some effects away from you let me know if i'm overreacting but they did lie that's a fact uh, disrespecting people Woo! Okay, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty juicy, actually. Uh, the way they communicate with their followers in social media is uh, kind of sus. I don't know. So Kyle over here is raising an issue about the early access being just three days, which actually I do agree. Uh, Need for Speed says three-day early access was always there. Reading is fundamental. Need for Speed is already saying <laughs> Kyle can't read. Uh, ouch. Kyle says charging extra to your loyal fan base to play three days early isn't really cool and a bit exploitive. Need for Speed says milk shake brain i mean saying milkshake brain to your audience i don't know i don't know need for speed uh, need for speed says cry about it or buy the regular price i don't care uh, carlos says i was gonna buy your game on release day but due to the admin of this account you've lost the sale you're an embarrassment and unprofessional i think that is not towards need for speed but towards the dude controlling the social media account i feel like like this is personal and need for speed said i'm not reading all that sorry that happened to you or congratulations and actually there's more examples uh of behavior like that but we're not gonna go through any more drama but if you want to dig into that go one by one through the uh, comments on the official need for speed twitter some of the replies are uh, pretty ballsy number three cop chases cops are really bad if you slowly do circles on an intersection they, they can't really do anything to you they sometimes ram you but nothing will happen they will damage your car very slightly i know guys nighttime cops are just as bad as daytime cops now i know in heat need for speed heat there is a big difference also i really wish we had these pursuit break is as well you know like in the glorious most wanted days i remember how fun they were everyone knows about the big donut rolling over the cops right those were fun times as for the cops need for speed heat had like pretty aggressive cops compared to need for speed unbound which was challenging you know uh, kept you on your toes uh, so i'm gonna assume people complain about need for speed heat cops being way too overpowered and now they made the cops easy it just doesn't feel like the cops want to take it down number four the exhaust flames they look pretty poor i 
I know Need for Speed Heat overdid it with the flames, but at least they looked like flames. In Unbound, the flames look like little stars, kind of like you see in mobile games. But the Unbound weird flames probably go well with the cartoon effects, so maybe that's why they made it like that. It really reminds me like these uh, FL Legend exhaust effects or something. Personal preference. Number five, choosing daytime. You cannot choose daytime or nighttime in Unbound. In Need for Speed Heat, however, you could choose that. And I really love that. Some people prefer racing during nighttime. Some people prefer daytime, which I gotta admit, I do prefer daytime myself. So it was really awesome to see that feature in Need for Speed Heat. And I was just a little disappointed to not see it in Need for Speed Unbound. That's all. Number six, the story mode. I've seen a lot of feedback that they do not like the story mode in general, like the community. Uh, as for me, personally, at least in the beginning, there was like no real option when it comes to how you want to progress through the game. I remember like in these uh, old and for speed games, there were like different types of icons on the map and you could choose which type of stuff you want to focus on, right? And you didn't even have to do all of these to progress through the story. You could select what you want to focus on. Unbound, however, it's just like holding your hand. It just, it doesn't feel like we have that many options. But let me add this. The story cinematics were really well done. I do not even mind the cartoon effects on the story cinematics. Number seven, the wheel support. Oh Lord, there is not a single single wheel option in the game maybe they will add it soon i have no idea but as of right now not a single wheel option you can go into the menu settings check it out yourself i played need for speed heat with the steering wheel support and it was actually surprisingly good so i don't know what happened i feel like triple a racing games regardless of the physics should have like decent wheel support unbound also doesn't support external shifters or handbrakes just a bit sad number eight development priorities this is absolutely my personal view on it okay but what i mean is in Instead of adding like wheel support, they chose to use their precious development time on character customization and cartoon effects. Like look at this clown that I created in Unbound. Uh, it's just weird to see that priority list in a racing game, to be honest. Number nine, the cash grab. We slightly went over it, but making a more expensive version of the game just for three days early access. Uh, now for us content creators, it is yeah, lovely. We, we get the game, we get to access the game a little bit early, make content, use the hype to get some extra views. But most people I feel like who buy the early access are still their like dedicated loyal fans, right? If the early access instead of three days was like getting the game two weeks early, I would understand, but just three days? I don't know. It's like easy cash grab, honestly, which it actually is if you think about it logically. And number 10, the soundtrack. I feel like the soundtracks in Need for Speed are just going downhill. If it comes to Need for Speed, I always imagine like metal rock but i do understand why the soundtrack is different reason is simple the game overall is like targeted towards younger audience so it all kind of makes sense in a way right it's just disappointing that's all after all everything is subjective everything comes down to personal preference and all that but i do hope this was at least entertaining so if you were entertained a little bit subscribe drop the like as well and if you're a hater let me know how much you disagree with me and hate me in the comments okay thank you as always stay sideways Peace. Thank you